Hey guys, Lee here from Presonus, here today for Adorama TV. I'm a product specialist with Presonus. I'm also an engineer producer and musician, so I get to use a lot of our equipment. Today I'll be showing you the AudioBox i-Series. This basically is an audio interface that allows you to record into your computer or also directly into your iPad. So we have two models of the i-Series. We have the i1, which gives us one microphone input and one instrument input. Today I have the i2 with me. This will allow us to plug two microphones in, but also these are on combo XLR jacks, so we can also plug in our instruments or guitars directly to the same inputs. Beside this we have a 48 volt switch. This switch will allow us to send power to our condenser microphones. Next over we have our mix knob. So this allows us to select between our live input and our playback input. So we can really get our levels perfectly right in our headphones when we're recording. Across from that we have our instrument select switch. So this allows us to select whether we're using guitars or line level instruments such as keyboards. Then we have a large main volume knob and beside this is a super handy headphone output with separate volume. So moving around to the back we have our MIDI in and out. This allows us to connect our MIDI keyboards and other MIDI devices. Next we have our USB port. This will allow us to connect directly to our Mac or PC. It also powers the AudioBox i-Series. Next across from this is the unique connectivity between the AudioBox and the iPad. So now we get the cable that came supplied with our iPad and we quite simply connect directly for recording. Across from this we have our main left and right output. So we use these to connect directly to our studio speakers. So how do we record into the iPad? It's pretty straightforward. First we download Capture Duo, which is our software for recording onto the iPad. This is a free app from the Apple Store. We can also upgrade Capture Duo to Capture for iPad, which allows us then to record 32 tracks. So when we install Capture on the iPad, we first come up with this window. So this will already have a list of songs that we've previously recorded, we can change the sample rate at this window and we can also select a different audio source. So when not connected to the audio box, we can use the iPad's internal microphone to record. When we select a song, the main page opens. Within the main page, we have our tracks listed on the left hand side. Our name of our track is here, our mute, our solo, record enable and monitor button are also located here. Across the bottom we have our transport, across from this we can change our tempo and also change our time signature. Some basic editing functions are available for the iPad with capture. If we double tap on each track we can cut, copy, delete, we can even duplicate tracks. It's also pretty easy to change the start time of tracks. So this allows us to do some basic editing after we've recorded directly into the iPad. Across the top here we've also got some really cool little features. This first tab tells us how much recording time we've left on the iPad. So at least when we set up a session, we know we have enough room on our hard drive to record the full song without it cutting out. This question mark sign also allows us to pull up the manual at any time. So if we get stuck when we're using Capture, we can always reference this manual so we never get stuck and we always know how everything works. But how do we get audio from the iPad? This is often one of the biggest problems when using an iPad to record audio. Sometimes we have to email tracks or even use iTunes and things can get a little messy. With Capture we've made it super simple. So included with the iSeries is our Studio One Artist software. So this is our recording software that we use on the Mac or PC. Now we simply connect our Mac or PC and our iPad to the same network. We select this tab at the top, click on the MacBook, and now we've transferred all of our audio tracks wirelessly straight into our Mac or PC. This will set up a Studio One session already named with each track already named also. These audio files are now on the hard drive of this Mac and we can drag these for use in any DAW also of your choice. So the audio box is a professional sounding recording device. It's got Class A preamps which are studio quality so you've got a pretty high end sound in a small unit. It's also metal construction, so it's very rugged and it's great to carry around for some mobile recordings or just recording in your house. 
It's also got super low latency recording, so this means all of your multi-tracks will be perfectly in time. So thanks for joining us today on Adorama TV. Also subscribe to Adorama TV and like, share and comment this video. Also, you can visit the Adorama Learning Center to check out some tips and tricks on how to use some more PreSonus products. Thanks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.